So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the Hermite curves. The topics that I'm going to cover in this video are what exactly the Hermite curve is and what are the functions of the Hermite curve and what is a Hermite cubic spline and we will finally see the example of Hermite curve, how to uh, write the uh, Hermite curve. So now let's see what is this Hermite curve. It is one of the spline curve where each piece in 3D polynomial represent in Hermite form. It is a cubic polynomial. Why I am calling it is a, it is a 3D polynomial. So that means it is a cubic polynomial. A polynomial is specified based on a position and the gradient at every end point of the curve. So if you take any curve, this is a starting point and end point. Any curve, this is a starting point and end point. So a polynomial is specified based on a position and a gradient at every end point of the curve. Hermite curve is simple to calculate and it is powerful also. So see here in this diagram, this is a P1, this is a start point. Okay, this is a start point and P2, this is an end point. And these are the start point tangent and this is the end point tangent. See here, for calculating the Hermite curves, we require the following vectors. What are those vectors? P1, T1, P2, T2. So that you have seen in this diagram, right? So P1, T1, P2, T2. What does this P1 represent? P1 represents the starting point of the Hermite curve. And T1 represents the tangent to that starting point. And in the same way, P2 is represents the end point of the Hermite curve. And it represents, T2 is represents the tangent to that end point. So, these above four vectors, that is the P1, T1, P2, T2, these four vectors are multiplied with four Hermite, four Hermite basis functions, that is X1S, X2S, X3S and X4S. Or, and finally added together, which is shown. So, see here, these four are finally added. So, X1S, this is nothing but 2S power 3 minus 3S square plus 1, which is a polynomial equation. And X2 means minus 2S power 3 plus 3S square. And X3 means S cubed minus 2S square plus S. And X4, S cubed minus S, S square. The above four functions, these four functions, x1s, x2s, x3s, x4s, are the functions of the Hamite curve. So see here, this is the functions of the Hamite curve. x1s, x2x, x1s, x2s, x3s, x4s. The polynomial equations. If you see here, these are the polynomial equations. Okay, further, these are the curves, Hamite curves. If we observe the curves of Hamite, the view, view of the function x1 and x2 are shown that x1 starts at one end. So see here in this diagram, x1 we starts at one end and reaches to the zero. And x2 it starts at the zero and goes up. So x1 and x2 shown that x1 starts at one end and goes slowly to the zero. Whereas x, x2 starts at zero and slowly goes to one. Multiply the start point with x1 and end point with the x2. Because it is coming up and down and again it is going down, uh, come down to up. So multiply the start point with x1 and end point with x2. Let s varies from 0 to 1 to interpolate between the start and end of the Hermitian curve. The functions whereas x3 and x4. So whatever here the x3 x4 or these are the x3 and x4 or the tangents or use it to the tangents in the similar way. They shown that the Hermite curves bends in the desired direction at the start and end point. Okay. So that is about the Hermite functions. Now let's see Hermite cubic spline. The Hermite cubic spine, uh, spine curve is also called as parametric cubic curve. It is mainly used to interpolate the given data which results in a synthetic curve. But it is not a free form curve like a base spline and base curve. It's not a free form, free form curve. The 3D planar curve is most used cubic spline curves. The Hermite cubic curve is based on two data points, which points it start and end of a curve along with the slope of these points. 
where whenever a two end points and their slope represents a curve then that type you call it as a hermit cubic curve so now let's see an example then you can get a complete clarity on what this hermit curve is the hermit the find the equation of the hermit cubic spline and blending functions we need to find which passes through 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 2 okay and tangents at 1 comma 1 which defines by the line connecting 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 1 okay and the tangents at 3 3 comma 2 defined by its line connecting so here the tangents let's take pi is okay 1 comma 1 so this is the tangent pi let's take pi plus 1 another tangent is let's take 3 comma 2 this is another tangent right so first what we have to do having a tangent 1 comma 1 Connecting to one comma one and three zero comma one. Okay, one comma one and zero. Uh, connecting one comma one and zero comma one. Then we get a slope is equal to zero minus one and zero minus one. That is nothing but a zero. So tangent at one comma one. That is, if you consider tangent at one comma one. Tangent at one comma one is equal to Y minus one is equal to zero into x minus one because slope is zero, right? So that means y is equal to one, which is a tangent vector. T P I T P I is equal to zero one. X is zero and it is one. Suppose if you take a tangent at three comma two, so you had taken one comma one. Suppose if you take tangent at three comma two and connecting is three comma two. And four comma one, and line connecting to three comma two and four comma one. Then slope is equal to one minus two comma four minus three. So I am taking this, okay, connecting to line three comma two and four comma one. That is slope is, okay, uh, y two minus y one by x two minus x one. Y two minus y one by x two minus x one. Then you will get minus one. Okay. Now the tangent at The tangent at three comma two is equal to y minus two is equal to what is the slope minus one minus one into x minus three. That means you will get y is equal to that is a tangent that is x plus five is a uh, x plus uh, you will get x plus y is equal to five. That means you will get t p i plus one is is one one of one. So. But we need slopes in parametric form here. Whatever I done, it's a ma matrix. Okay, so we need in parametric form. So compute scale tangent as considered a scale tangent d p i is equal to delta x into slope one by delta y into slope two. Okay, that means you will get d p i as zero. One of minus one, that is zero minus one. In the same way, calculate DPI plus one, which is a scalar tangent. DPI plus one. The same formula. This time you are taking one of zero and one of minus one. Then you will get zero comma minus one. Okay. So let me take it. Okay, one second. Okay, so now let's take again. Okay, so you you got D P I I is equal to zero minus one and D P sorry D P plus I D P plus I is equal to zero minus one. Okay, so now curve passes through where curve passes through P I to U I. P i to u i is equal to zero. That means x of zero is equal to a x is equal to one, and y of zero is equal to a y is equal to one. So the curve passes through P i. The curve passes through P i at u i is here. It is zero. Now let's take the curve passes through P i plus one at u i is equal to one. 
That means you will get x of 1 is equal to the polynomial equation ax plus by, ax plus bx plus cx plus dx is equal to 3 they are given. So in the same way y of 1 is equal to ay plus by plus cy plus dy is equal to 2. So what is the slope at pi? You already calculate right slope at pi is equal to 0 x dash of 0 is equal to bx is equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to by is equal to minus 1. If you consider the slope at pi plus 1, slope at pi plus 1 is what? Okay, that means x dash of 1 is equal to bx plus 2cx plus 3dx is equal to 0. Okay, and if you calculate y dash of 1 is equal to by plus 2cy plus 3dy is equal to minus 1. So, these are all the equations, okay, polynomial equations. So, now, so now, let's represent everything in the matrix form. Matrix form. I am representing it as in the matrix form. 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. And it has to be multiplied with ax, ay, bx, by, cx, cy, dx, dy. This is a polynomial equation. Okay. And the values you get ax, ay is 1, 1, bx, by that is 3, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1. So you got ax, ay value, bx, by value, cx, cy value and dx, dy value. Now represented in the plane. How to represent? So, this is 0. Okay, let's take this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 1 and here it is 3. Y coordinates are taken as 3 like, like this something. Okay. So, now the tangent start. This is the start point of the Hermite curve and this is the end point of the Hermite curve. Okay. That is 0 minus 1 and this is a 0 minus 1. It's a tangent. Okay. It's a tangent. The point at tangent. So, this is Hermite curve. So, in this way, we need to calculate the Hermite curves based on the conditions they are given. So, I hope you understand. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.